Hello, everyone. Jenny here from the Proven Group, and I am here with Amy from Skill Samurai at Bring Out Leadership in Franchising interview. Amy, um, when we first met and you told me about Skill Samurai, you know, my heart sang. I, I love the concept. I love your passion. Can you share with us a little bit about you and Skill Samurai? Uh, yeah, I can. I said, uh, for, for me, my background was in uh, consumer finance, sales and operations management. Uh, I then uh, left that and uh, started a marketing agency. So quite a diverse uh, set of uh, skills. Uh, and I'll give you the short version of this. Uh, I met Jeff Hughes, who's the founder of Skill Samurai. This is a brand that originated in Canada. Uh, I met Jeff Hughes as he came to me as a client in my marketing agency. And uh, if I'm being completely honest, most of my clients were quite transactional. So we do a project, we deliver it, we get paid, and we move to the next project. But something about Jeff resonated a whole lot more differently. And uh, I've got four kids, I've got a, a granddaughter. And, uh, you know, if you some of the stats are quite scary at the minute in Australian schools. In Australian schools at the minute, up to 40% of kids are disengaged. And some of them it's because you know, there's this sort of almost two-dimensional linear approach to education where kids will learn, you know, addition one day, then tomorrow they're moving on to multiplication. But there's a, a bunch of kids that just didn't get the, the core concept and they get left further and further behind. And as a parent, that's heartbreaking. And then you've got this other the other end of the spectrum where you've got these kids that are disengaged because they're bored. They're ahead of the class. They need more stimulation. They need to be challenged. And so it's it's not through the fault of our wonderful teachers in the education system, okay? It's, it's the system that they're, they're confined to. But uh, one of the things that Jeff would talk about is this tailored learning approach. And when you walk into a skilled samurai, every student is working on their own project at their own pace, right? And this, this is a wonderful form of education. I thought, why isn't this stuff here in Australia? Why can't we do this in Australia? So I literally burnt the bridge. I sold my marketing agency. And uh, went all in on Skill Samurai, and uh, uh, here we are today. So we we help kids through uh, coding and STEM, and and the the other the other side of this is mental health in youth is a growing challenge, and largely off the back of device addiction, uh, social media, uh, bullying, all these sort of uh, uh, new technological challenges. So Skill Samurai also exists to help kids build and develop a healthier relationship with technology. And so, you know, you can see why I did what I did. Like you get up every morning and you just feel good about what you do. I love I love it. And I mean, you know, you and I have discussed this before. You know, I have a lot of passion for education and used to be a teacher. I, I think, um, yeah, I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the education system. And I really think it takes trailblazers like you and Jeff to see these opportunities and really kind of change the way things are done. So I really, really love it. Thank um, you. Amy, leadership, you know, in any franchise, relationships are the key, are the key to success um, and and leading people, you know, is is critical. What do you see as the, as the key areas that leaders need to really embrace now to move things into the future you know the world's a changing place that's a that's a big question jenny um so for, first of all i think vision visionary has to be part of this you know we have monthly franchise calls and it's my responsibility to to paint a picture to paint a vision of where we're headed collectively so that we all go in in, in a unified direction uh, and then uh, in the very next month i also want to have some accountability so I think it's important as leaders uh, that we're very focused on our own accountability and bringing back to these calls or to whatever form of communication we use uh, the results of what we set out to achieve. It's okay to get on these calls and say, hey, we haven't quite nailed this. And uh, that uh, honesty and integrity and that transparency piece is, is also really important. So uh, that that would be, uh, yeah, that'd be my yeah, summary. I, I really, yeah, really, really resonates. Thank you. Um, who's inspired you in your career? You know, you, you've had an amazing career doing lots of different things. But who, who have been your main inspirations? You know, uh, it changes. It, you know, right back from when I was a kid, uh, my first job was working in a pet store and had two really wonderful mentors uh, in this pet store. Um, and uh, they shared with me some wonderful books. So I was, you know, imagine 14 years of age getting handed, you know, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill or How to Win Friends and Influence People. 
you know, it, it was sort of like a little weird and and at first, but uh, I immersed myself and um, trusted these leaders and uh, that really set the whole trajectory for what came next. So uh, they were some of my early mentors. Some of my uh, current mentors, uh, one, I've got a, a great friend of mine who's, uh, you know, self-made. He started a, a mining services business, uh, just exited part of his business for about $30 million and, uh, you know, just just a wonderfully successful, passionate, um, stand-up guy, right? So, you know, I, I think for me, my mentors change from time to time uh, and they're not always necessarily in a professional space or in my own industry. Sometimes they're, you know, within my own friend circle and I often uh, refer back to that bit of advice, Jamie, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. So uh, it's something that's always resonated with me. Yeah, love it, love it. Um, can I ask you, you know, franchising, you know, is that win-win for the franchise or the franchisee and, of course, the clients as well? Um, what do you see as the most important skills that franchisees need to ensure that they're successful? From a franchisee perspective, Jenny, um, I don't know if this is a skill so much, but it, it's it's execution, the ability to execute. Uh, you've got to be organised. Um, you've got to be planned. Um, I, I think you also have to be very receptive to taking advice. And so, and look, in our uh, small but growing network of franchisees here in Australia, um, they're all very open. And you know, we've we've deliberately chosen uh, a, a set of people with diverse skill sets that all complement each other. Like a lot of franchise brands tend to pigeonhole and get the same person because they think that's this is our avatar this is our persona and we tend to look a little bit more broadly than that and sort of say you know we've got so already in 18 months we've grown to six uh, units one is a teacher one's an ex-Harvey Norman franchisee one was a senior leader within the NBN network one's a Queensland ambulance dispatcher high pressure environment one's a, a tech guru who leads teams of uh, um, uh, you know computer scientists and programmers so that's a really diverse skill mix you know um, Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Yeah, I, th I think you've just got to, um, the, the, the one thing that separates franchisees, uh, great franchisees from good franchisees, I think, is their level of execution. Okay, it's coming to these calls every week. Like we have a weekly work in progress call. Uh, and, um, you know, some of these franchisees are really, really good at taking accountability, saying, yep, I haven't quite done that, but I'm going to do it. So, yeah, accountability is, is the thing for me. Uh, and also, yeah. sorry, execution. Yeah, really interesting. And I, I think, you know, that's great that you've identified that. And I think, you know, as as we've discussed, you know, you can actually build some of those things into your approval process so you know are these people able to do to do the work that needs to be done. So really, yeah, love that perspective. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. Really, really interesting insights. I love these conversations. I love the diversity. I love that everyone brings their own little flair to the discussion and really, really appreciate your time, Jamie. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity and great to see you again, Jenny.